everyone welcome back to my channel this week is move-in week and i i don't know how to feel really <laughs> since i've been spending most of my time literally sitting and stressing about getting back into a regimented schedule i decided i would do you know something fun you know i'm packing to go back to my dorm and so i thought it'd be kind of cool to share with you what i'm choosing to pack I do want to mention also that my dorm experience is a lot different than most universities and colleges in that I have my own personal bedroom and I share a common room with three other people. So we each have our own individual rooms and then we have a big common room and common space that we share. And then we have two bathrooms that we are all responsible for taking care of and keeping clean. There are some things in this video that I mentioned that some people don't really need to bring or don't really need to think about bringing to their college depending on what their university offers. So I just wanna get that out of the way. So everyone has a different college experience in my mind. This is just to help provide people inspiration and I love talking about my stuff. So um, let's just like get into it. So obviously one of the first essential things to bring clothes. These are sweaters that I have packed in this storage bag that I plan on storing underneath my bed. I live in Florida. It is Florida hot outside right now. I do not need to be thinking about wearing sweaters unless I'm inside and like unless it's like a really cold building then like I will for sure be wearing a sweater. If you can raise your bed and store things under your bed, I highly recommend. If your bed is not three to four to even like five feet off the ground, what are you doing? You're That's like wasted space. Anyway, I just think it's really nice and convenient to store stuff like this, the fancier tops or like heavy winter stuff in a accessible spot. I also plan on bringing clothes that I can actually store in the closet. So ugh, I got this nice dress bag. Actually, it's a shirt size, but it's fancy because it has a zipper. I've stored two business casual outfits in here because when you're going to a college or university, you don't know when you might be called to like a conference or a meeting with your advisor or other college professors or whatever and you're gonna need something like really nice to wear. Look at my clothes, I'm a professional. In addition to those fancy clothes, I also have some fancy dresses. And this one is in a very long plastic storage bag. Not gonna lie, the first one was more of a party dress but the two behind it are very fancy, very conservative and business casual dresses. Also, very good for presentations. You never know when your professor is gonna just throw on the syllabus, hey, you need to present this paper and you're gonna need to dress up a little bit. But that's really as far as clothes go. The rest of my like daytime casual clothes are just gonna be thrown into a duffel bag. Bring what you know you're gonna wear. Next, as far as personal things go, um, obviously makeup. Obviously in a dorm room, you're not gonna have that much space. I personally recommend bringing one makeup bag full. Granted, this is a rather large makeup bag, but I can fit a lot in it. At least like an everyday makeup look. And this bag I plan on storing in my desk because it's gonna be an everyday item thing and I'm just gonna like bring it with me and use them every day, probably. Of course, to go with the makeup, I need a mirror to use so that I can actually like apply it and everything. And this one's great because it actually lights up. It's not plugged in so I can't light it up right now, but it lights up and then it has like the regular mirror size, right? And then, oh my God, we're zoomed in and you can like really see my face. Hello? So as I was talking about before with under the bed storage, I also have a trunk. And this also kind of goes into the territory of like what your university provides for you. Whether you have a dining plan or whether you're just like me and you like having snacks, I use my handy dandy trunk is this big to store my snacks. This sealed container is very big. It's lovely. You can already see I have some snacks in there already. So this keeps them nice and fresh and stored. And like if there happens to be an ant invasion, you know that's going to happen at some point. It'll be like nice and fresh and sealed and kept away from greedy little um, thieving hands. I also keep this basket. And in this basket, I keep all of my tea. I actually forgot I have hot cocoa in here. Also, a lot of this stuff too, I do share with roommates or anyone else who comes to visit the dorm. I am very much a hostess and I just like being able to 
to provide people with things to make them feel comfortable and at home, especially if like we're studying or doing homework together. I just like having something like this and having a trunk in my room to store all of it in, that's just like great. Those two containers don't fill up that entire trunk. Like I can store drinks in there, I can store water in there, I can store some extra granola bars in there. Possibilities are like endless. Okay, so the next few things are going to go into more of the like essentials, kind of essentials, cleaning products, health products, hygiene and stuff. But first thing that I have at the top of my bin, wet wipes. These things are a lifesaver when you're doing a quick clean. I can't tell you how easy it is to get sick or to have someone sick just like be in your presence and everything. And if someone's sick, you just need to take one of these and just like wipe down literally every surface in your room and then it's like, hey, I might not get sick. <laughs> if you just need to wipe down your desk or wipe down your dresser or the door, these help a lot. Next thing, medication. So I have uh, acetaminophen and Tylenol. I also have some Dermablast spray that helps with bug bites and itches and scratches, all the other stuff that you just need like a quick like spray, you know? Other two essentials that I make sure that I have, hydrogen peroxide and cleaning alcohol. If I happen to get like a cut or a scratch or anything, I just drizzle drizzle this on like a fresh wound if i have a blister on the back of my ankle this is the first thing that i use you clean your cuts like you don't want to go to the doctor for some antibiotics just because you got an infection on a wound you forgot to clean and then i think having cleaning alcohol that goes without saying when it comes to actually cleaning something or like if the drain smells bad just like pour a little bit of this down and it's just like you're good to go next in my drawer i have nail polish remover just because i'm in college and i don't really have time to do a lot of like fun stuff i can at least paint my nails you know so next aloe i live in fucking florida you get sunburn from being outside for 30 minutes although i will say this one has mostly alcohol you should look at the ingredients just to see what exactly you're using in that product and like <laughs> what exactly is in it like it's really nice and everything for sure especially when it's cold and you're putting that on like a fresh sunburn like but the fact that it has alcohol in it also makes it very drying, which is not ideal. It's good to still have around. Next thing, a sponge. Now I am on a meal plan at my college and they provide very lovely meals. I appreciate them very much, but I am going to have my own dishes that I'm going to bring because I got a lot of tea and I do have some food allergies. So I am going to be bringing my own food. So sponge and then also dish soap, which I do still have to get, I'm going to bring. I think this was an extra that I had from my first year I'm only just now using so if you're wondering why I keep this with like my toiletry stuff it's very good to have a bottle of perfume or poopery in your bathroom next thing I keep a little bottle of Purell with my stuff again people get sick at college like we're adults you can't wash your hands if you're at a conference and you're shaking like people's hands you're gonna want some Purell because you don't know what other people have been touching I am also bringing with me some vitamins. This is calcium, magnesium, and zinc. This is something that I would take in the evening. I personally think it does help me get to sleep better. I also have extra strength hair, skin, and nails. This is a vitamin that I would take in the morning. I do also have vitamin E tablets, gel pills, pill gels, that I also want to start taking again too. To go with all the tea that I mentioned before, I also like to bring my own water kettle. It is a Farberware tea kettle, and I just liked it clear because this bottom ring lights up blue when it and when it bubbles, it just looks like a light display. And it's just really nice to have. There's just something about having boiling water and pouring it over a tea bag that makes tea just taste better, as opposed to putting water in a microwave and making tea like that. And to go with the tea, I think it goes without saying that I bring all of my own mugs. And this one's also just like really cute. It has my own name on it. I even have different mugs that I use specifically for when people visit. They come on this cute little rack and everything, and they all have words on them, and it's all just part of a set, and it's all like really cute. Now, what I also feel like is an essential, but you know, mostly for decoration, but like also high key like essential, are some fairy lights. I do have these cute little plastic butterflies on them just for decoration. I like living things up a little bit. Doesn't that look so lively? Wait till they're plugged in. In my dorm room, what they offer is just like one single fluorescent light. You flip the switch, and it just covers everything in this like ugly gray foggy light and it's just like sad not only am i going to be bringing a lamp i'm also going to have these like rainbow christmas fairy lights and it's just going to make the place just have this like nice warm cozy super chill atmosphere in my dorm room i also have coasters granted these are very much halloween themed when you're drinking tea you're gonna need some coasters i mean granted yeah they're gonna be like ugly 
just like um, dressers and tables in the dorm room. Like they're already gonna be kind of nasty and everything. I just think it'd be kind of nice just to have a few of these lying around just to use them. It also just like spices up the place. Nothing says spice like a little bit of pumpkin spice. In addition to that, I just have like a few miscellaneous decorations that I'm also going to be bringing to my dorm room. For instance, I have this cute little arrow that comes with hooks. My roommates and I actually had this hanging up in the common room and we all actually like hung our keys on it and it was actually really just nice to have it. We could tell who was home and everything because we call our dorm our home and it was just like really cute. It also helps because the doors will lock behind us and so it'd be kind of nice just to have our keys stored outside of the room just in case if that incident were ever to happen. We'll have our keys and we'll just, you know, walk back into our room. I think you can also say that throw pillows are like the best. Of course, I'm going to be bringing these two pillows, but those are like main bed pillows. I'm talking about like fancy throw pillows. And I feel like I got me the fanciest one. It's got little sequins on it. And it's one of those that like, <gasps> now it's silver. Now it's red. Now it's silver. Now it's red. So in addition to a few throw pillows that I have, I'm also going to be bringing a few throw blankets. This one, it's very Halloween themed, or if you just kind of like dead skeleton cats, it's an everyday theme. Isn't it cute? It's like really soft and like I love it because it has cats on it. In my dorm room, I just love filling it up with different like pillows and blankets and anything comfortable that like reminds me of home. Your dorm room is going to be like a little mini home to you for months. So like why not fill it with things that you like? If you bring your favorite blanket with you or your favorite pillow or even your favorite stuffed animal, like oh my god. Of course I'm going to bring my little stuffed bunny with me. Just bring whatever you like and whatever reminds you of home just because it'll help with the homesickness and like being far away from home. And whether that's in a blanket, a stuffed animal, a painting that you have on your wall, why not go ahead and bring it? I also have this quilt that my mom made for me and I'm going to bring it because like I said before, I like having options. It's super big and super colorful and it goes so much more with the theme of my room, which is just like a blast of like different colors like in your face. More like rainbow colors. I'd say these are just very happy colors. College dorms are also notorious for having very blank and very stark walls. So I will show you the few paintings that I am going to bring with me and decorate my dorm walls with. To start off with the decorations, I have this mirror. It has four different colors on the frame of it. This one has honestly saved my life because we were just using the bathroom mirrors and it's just kind of convenient to have your own mirror in your own space. Another decoration I'm going to bring that you've probably seen in the background of my videos is this gorgeous painting painted by my lovely roommate Liz May, or ex-roommate. Okay, I'm holding it upside down. This is how it's supposed to be viewed. If I'm correct, she got inspiration for this painting from her aunt's painting, which is very similar to this. It's just flowers and it's absolutely gorgeous and it's so colorful and I feel like this is my true color scheme for my room. Just like a whole bunch of different colors and it's just kind of all over the place but also it has some organization and like some structure to it. Honest to god, I remember when she moved in in our freshman year and I saw this painting. I was literally just thinking like, oh my god, I wonder how much I could pay her to have this painting. Lo and behold, one year later when she's getting rid of her stuff, she gives it to me. The next painting you have definitely seen in my past videos is this painting. Again, this is also painted by the lovely and very generous Liz. She took inspiration for this painting from my eyes. They're my eyes, this is my face. Can you tell? She also put this cute little quote because she knows that I have anxiety and I stress out about a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that doesn't really need to be stressed out over. And it was just like, a gentle reminder of like, everything's gonna be okay. And now the last and final thing to tie up this video, my vision board. Now, it's a little crazy, but I feel like with my new dorm theme, it's just like a little bit crazy, but like you have some structure to it. I'm not gonna go over like everything. A lot of these things are just like different quotes that I saw online. I think the majority of these things or quotes I saw online. There are a few things that I took from my own scrapbook collection. This piece right here, it says, be good to yourself, be proud of yourself. Remember, new beginnings never end. 
That was actually in a syllabus. That was one of the last classes that I took before I got my associates. It was just such a nice and enjoyable class. I learned so much from that class, an education class, and it was a prerequisite for the education degree because I was originally going to go into um, high school education. I had to go into my old high school and actually shadow a few teachers and it was just a really amazing experience and the professor was just amazing. He was a former high school principal so he had a lot of experience dealing with kids and he was just such such a nice sweet man a lot of like really nice memories and it's actually a tradition with me that i redo it every so often it's nice having a mini project like a vision board to revamp your creativity and to remind yourself of like what you're doing what your goals are what you want to do with your life with vision boards you can really do whatever you want and i just really like that so i think i'm going to end things here i hope this video gave you guys some inspiration on what you will bring and how you will decorate your dorm check into my channel next week and you will see a completed dorm room tour at least what it looks like in the beginning of the semester because let's be honest it will look nothing like it at the end. Be sure to subscribe so you can see when that video comes out. It's next week so you don't have to like wait that long. And be sure to like the video if you did, if it gave you any inspiration. Leave in the comments any ideas or suggestions that you have when it comes to college and decorating your dorm room and like packing or anything. Or leave a funny story of um, your one of your college experiences. Anyway, thank you for watching the video and be sure to tune in next week when I post another video.